Hi everybody, this is Barry from NFT Music Info. Hope you're well. So today I wanted to explore foundation.app. Foundation.app is something that I ignored for quite some time because it was an invite only platform. So you're not able to create NFTs or mint NFTs on this platform unless you're invited by somebody else in that community. Now, I haven't found a way that I can invite people yet, but I have asked the question on their help support channel. So fingers crossed I'll get a response from that soon. Um, but you do have to be very careful if you are desperate to become invited to this platform because there are a lot of scams out there. Now I checked out this website earlier because they've got a YouTube channel and looks okay. Get an invite for all of these platforms. Get an invite now. But the catch is you then have to pay gas fees to be able to actually apply for that if I have a look at the get invite thing so this is their website now so what the YouTube channel is actually saying at the moment is that they will provide the invite code the secret code to get you on there so once you put that get invite what then happens is you'll then have to pay the gas fee so let's have a look now and see how much they want to charge for this so they're currently charging 0.081 in ethereum so let's have a look at that now Wow so they are charging $141 for you to apply for an invite to that platform. That is disgusting. Now, the problem is the YouTube channel doesn't go into that. It doesn't talk about how much the gas fees will be because it just is chancing people's arm on the basis that they're not actually going to check how much this is charging people. So I'm not happy about this at all. So I'll see what I can do. Um, but please do not use this scam. Um, I found on the Reddit, always check the internet for things like this. So it's got on here, scam site review, gas fee scam, another site. And this platform is inviting to Foundation Super Rare Maker's Place. So don't fall into the trap. So yeah, got many comments here, not happy about it. So just frustrating that people are just doing this kind of stuff. To kind of scam people. Um, of course, the YouTube comments are very good. I don't know whether they are legitimate people or not. So I am very concerned about that channel. So please stay clear of that. So in terms of foundation itself, on a better note, I was actually invited for Watch Your Beeple. So Watch Your Beeple is a collection of the Beeple artist as a portrait and then having animation on there and sound. So I produced some music to be able to do that in the background and I created the portrait myself and then got the animation on there as well and then completed the inv information and then I actually got an invite for that. So it's part of a collection curated by BPR NFT listed. And what I did is um, we've got a split here. So 10% will go to people and 10% will go to that person that's invited me. So now I've actually got my own account which is great called Cyber Monday and I've actually listed the official video of one of my first tracks that I ever did as Synthwave which is called Crazy and uh, so I've been able to mint that. Now Ethereum is still quite expensive in terms of minting it's not cheap to post NFTs on this platform so again that's something to be aware of but I do personally think that this platform is very good for artists because it is an invite only scheme currently. There's a lot less people actually minting NFTs on here because it is expensive and you do have to be invited as well. So in terms of creating NFTs on the platform, I click on create and you can upload an image, a video file, but then look, you're going to have the ability to upload audios in terms of MP3, FLAX or WAV files soon. And also 3D artificial reality files as well. So I can't wait for the audio one to come up. That would be really good. Um, if I have a look at the image, first of all, it's a case of uploading. There is a limit of 50 megabytes on here. A few people had listed on, on this platform and they said that the unlockable content will be like the official... Um, high quality image but when I was creating the NFTs I didn't see anything about that um, being able to include unlockable content so I don't know if that's actually available on the platform or not but let's have a quick look at just the process of doing this so if I just click on pictures and just upload one as an example 
click on upload uploading to the server to the peer-to-peer -peer network and then what you do is you put in your title and then you can create the split down here and what you'll do is you'd have the you'd include the addresses of the people on the platform that you'd want to split so you could do 10 percent 20 percent whatever you're able to preview that nft as well so you can actually see it as it would be so there you go and it's uh, similar to enter.art in that you've got one of one that's uh, how it works on this platform at the moment and you click mint in fact i must say it's very similar to enter.art in terms of the layout etc so this is now then the gas fee i'm going to reject that for the moment so you create it on the platform and then you'd mint it and then you'd list it for sale so that's basically what you do and you'd pay a gas fee for minting it onto the platform onto the network peer-to-peer -peer, and then you pay a gas fee to actually list it on there as well so there you have it but if we delve now into the foundation itself they always feature uh, auctions ending soon and what i really like about foundation that does kind of distinguish itself from other platforms is that it's all about auctions but none of these auctions start until somebody has done their first bid on them and then they'll end in 24 hours so it's a bit similar to ebay in that respect in that nothing's going to sell on here until somebody puts in their first bid then it gets featured on trending auctions and then there's more chance and more visibility of more investors um, bidding higher and it seems a really successful story in terms of the platform i mean i've heard about foundation.app for a couple of months now and i'm very impressed whereas some of the other platforms are generally by by now um, but there's not as much excitement there because you know if it's for sale i guess if it's one of one then there's scarcity there and it's very rare but at the same token if it's ebay you're giving more people the option to to bid and i like that idea personally i think that's a fantastic idea so you can see some of the artwork on here they've also got a featured section and i do really like the artwork on here um, the only thing that i have found i don't know if it's my internet but some of them don't show up very easily particularly videos you notice my actual um music video didn't show up very quickly on on the uh, platform either but it does when the internet's really good so um, i'm quite a fan with amiga stuff because i produced a lot of amiga music back in the day and i'm trying to work with an artist that uh, does the visuals of the amiga if not i might have a look at doing that myself but amiga was an old 90s computer where you could produce and play games and create images and visuals like this so yeah but yeah that's currently bidding for 870 also the money that sells on here that the um sell for a lot of money there's a lot of reserve prices on here and some are very high but you know it seems to be a lot more cheaper artwork on enter.art this seems to be taken a lot more seriously on foundation.app so but as you can see the quality of the artwork is really good on here and they do visuals as well videos and i can't wait for the music to come out then they've got featured creators on here so you can see the actual profiles of the creators so this one i really liked roswell i love this because i was brought up with floppy disks and what this uh, artist does he likes to create floppy disks with different images on and different themes and styles and as you can see that they've sold for quite a lot of money um, sold for 0.4 so let me have a look at that you know seven hundred dollars pretty much that's amazing wow i wish i could sell my floppy disks for that money <laughs> and this is a great thing and then you can then follow that person so that you kept up to date that's the address if you collaborated with them and you wanted to do um, something together you can then have the split when you create you've got the twitter the instagram who they were invited by which i think is kind of nice because there's a kind of a trail there an audit trail when they joined what links they've got in terms of their websites and stuff yeah i just think it's a fantastic platform i've got a couple of people on here that i'm hoping to uh 
to speak to fairly soon. Um, one of them, Panther Modern. Now Panther Modern is kind of a synth pop artist, dark synth artist, with a lot huge fan base, and uh, he's done some amazing stuff. I'm hoping to uh, chat to him, hopefully soon. But yeah, he's based in the LA and he's a musician and he does some fantastic NFTs. You know, I'm so impressed with this stuff. He's had a lot of success with his NFTs. Um, so there you go, this one sold for $3,000, this music video. Again, it's not showing me, but apologies for that. It would eventually kick in to there. So yeah, I like how this is laid out. I like how clean it looks. My son actually said that he's seen people wearing this logo on t-shirts. So there's a bit of a following going on there. They also have an explore foundation section looking at trending creators. And you can search by one day, seven days, 30 days for the last month or all time. Trending collectors. So you've got the investors and fans here, which is really good to see what they've spent the money on. So view trending, there's different worlds. So this is a bit like playlists in that respect. So you can view different worlds, see Panther Modern's created sound. So if I click on sound, this is what he's curated in terms of all of the artists that provide sound on their NFTs, which I thought was kind of cool. Trending auctions again, and buys all artworks, buys all profiles. So currently there's six, over 61,000 artworks on the platform, 174 plus thousand profiles on there. You've got a newsletter page as well. And if we have a look at the about page, so it's a platform that aims to build a new creative economy, a world where creators can use the Ethereum blockchain to value their online expression in entirely new ways and build stronger connections with their supporters. Foundation bridges crypto and culture to foster a network of mutual support between artists, creators and collectors. We're forging a community driven path and sharing our tools within a rapidly evolving group of developers who are excited to define this future with us. We want anyone and everyone who cares about the future of digital expression to be a part of it. It launched back in February and so far that's how many sales they've had and this is what the curators have to say how it works. So they're invited to join Foundation by members of the community. When you get an invite, you'll need to set up a MetaMask wallet with Ether before you can create an artist profile and mint an NFT, which means uploading your JPEG, PNG or video file to the peer-to-peer -peer storage network. It will then be an NFT that you can price in Ethereum and put up for auction on Foundation. Creators receive 85% of the final sale price. If the piece is resold on Foundation or OpenSea and Rarible, a 10% royalty goes back to the wallet that originally minted the NFT. For collectors, anyone can create a profile to start collecting NFTs. All you'll need is a MetaMask wallet and Ethereum, and then it uses to pay for the transactions. Artists list, list NFTs for auction at reserve price, and once the first bid is placed, a 24-hour auction countdown begins. If a bid is placed within the last 15 minutes, the auction extends for another 15 minutes. I didn't know that. So that's really interesting. When you win an auction and claim the NFT, the artwork gets transferred to your wallet and appears on your foundation collector profile. You can also then display it in your virtual gallery, share it on social media, sell it later on the secondary market, or pioneer a new approach to appreciating digital art and championing the artists in your collections. So there's a lot of uh, stuff for the community. So there's an Instagram page, they've got a Twitter page, and they've got a Discord channel as well. So you can join those, which is really cool. So they're called With Foundation on Instagram. So they do feature quite a lot of uh, NFTs and artists on there, which is cool. Same with their Twitter channel, which is at With FND. And the team that they've got, quite a lot of developers, software engineers, content creators, brand designers, and apparently they're hiring based in LA as well which is great so there you have it i think this is a fantastic platform i can't wait for the audio to come out to see how that affects the platform and that's apparently coming soon so i'm really looking forward to seeing that they've also got a blog as well so yeah it's just really promoting nfts having artist invites on there i'm just going to have a quick look at the view profile again and have a look at the crazy video so yeah i really like foundation.app 
Um, this is my Beeple animation that I've done, and that's currently on for 175. One of one with a split as well. The 10% going to the Beeple artist and 10% going to the originator of the project, which is cool. And there's a split contract there as well. So I love the fact that this functionality is available uh, on the platform because this isn't uh, commonly used on a lot of platforms yet. So it's nice to be able to have that facility and to be able to collaborate with other artists to produce NFTs. Yeah, so this is the official video that I've minted for the crazy track that I did. That's a synthwave track with female vocals. And um, so, yeah, I hope you liked this video and I'll speak to you on the next one. Take care. Bye.